five parts of design to be successful in sharpening a chainsaw. The first, depth gauge. That sets up the thickness of the chip. The point starts the cutting process. The top angle sets up the width of the kerf. The side plate severs the vertical fibers and cross cut. And the chisel chisels it out between the two vertical cuts. Once understanding the parts of the tooth, the next is inspection. That's the key. You want to look at the teeth, look for any damage, irregular angles, and make sure that everything is up to box stock. Once the tooth is sharp, the next step is to make sure and set the depth gauges, the rakers, to proper height to take the chip. Many tools today do the same task with less work. The steel two-in-one tool. Keep the tool 90 degrees to the guide bar. Follow the top angle. All filing takes place inside the outside of the tooth. Follow the pictures on the tool as directions for a proper angle. The furred chain sharp. Similar function to the two-in-one, but files reverse for left and right operation. Oregon's two-step filing tools. The file guide. And the second step, the raker gauge it. Damage repair is important. A flat file can be used to straighten the edges. It should match the top plate angle. You must correct any point damage. Correct with a flat file or lift the guide for the round file center to straighten the top angle damage. Move all damage. This can be done with a round file, but it takes extra stroke. And then reinspect the chain, making sure all damage is removed and surfaces are sharp. Depth gauge point, side plate, top plate, chisel angle. All five of the parts must be checked. Inside to outside, smooth strokes, making sure all the top surface is straight. Straighten it with the flat file, reshape with the round file. Thanks for watching. Share with your friend. And don't forget to subscribe. Good sawing.